Well, they did it. Prince William and Kate Middleton are finally hitched for better or worse. The world now has a glamorous new princess to idolise and the British monarchy has a fresh new face to represent it. It's been a big couple of days in London and Michael Usher has been in the thick of it. What an extraordinary day. In a year so dominated by overwhelmingly sad events, this is just a terrific celebration. It's London at its flag-waving best. But for all the grandeur and the ceremony and the crowds, you've got to remember, this is about a young couple getting married and starting a new life together. It was the day a middle-class commoner from the tiny village of Buckleberry was transformed into the future queen. The world was invited to the fairy tale as Kate Middleton married her Prince Charming and became Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cambridge. It was a family occasion that two billion people participated in in some weird way. And like any family wedding, some relatives will always make a fashion folk. Oh my God, where did she get that bloody hat? She looks ridiculous. Along with royalty came the rock stars. Aristocrats rub shoulders with athletes. Prime Ministers alongside publicans. The way the Middletons and the Royals have kind of merged, it tells the world that it's a good story and it's a good message, which is that humble works much better than haughty. So that's really the story. It's not about... Magazine editor Rachel Johnson is an expert on British aristocracy and monarchy. Every, it's a flag-waving sea of royalists we see before us. It's been a good flag-waving day in London. Yeah, as I said, it's not a good day for Republican anarchists, that's for sure. <laughs> and now the moment had come when Prince William arrived with brother Harry the best man looking more nervous than the groom. They waited with the rest of the world for the arrival of the bride, who carried with her hopes of a fresh start for the British monarchy. It shows a family that has healed. It survived death and it survived multiple divorce and it's having a kind of a renewal moment. I mean, this was a rebirth for them. And really, the start of a new generation for the royal family. Sure, I mean, they're both happy and healthy and in love. And I think the Queen can look at this and think, at last, you know, I think the firm, as she calls it, the family, is kind of, it's set fair going forward. <laughs> But on this most regal occasion, the new generation didn't stray far from strict protocol and tradition. The one great surprise, a mystery to the very end, the dress. Catherine emerged to reveal an elegant creation from the House of Alexander McQueen by designer Sarah Burton. She certainly did look hot. I mean, brides do on their wedding days, but princess brides look incandescent. The world's fashion police have accused the designers of borrowing from another fairy tale. When Grace Kelly turned her back on Hollywood to become Princess of Monaco. But forget the comparisons, Kate made it all her own. 
She was very calm. Wasn't she? Very classy. Oh, and didn't we love the way she moved? I mean, she came down the aisle like a cherry blossom floating on a stream. Mm. And the fact that Prince William didn't look back and get an eyeful was classy. That didn't stop Harry from stealing a glance and reporting back to his big brother. It's as if she was born for that role and, you know, she owned that whole ceremony. No one could ever outshine this bride, but her sister Pippa came pretty close. Pippa came behind her wearing a kind of knockout Alexander McQueen dress with apparently nothing underneath. <laughs> so the eyes of the world were torn between these two gorgeous Middleton sisters. And Harry and the other single men said hello. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth, wilt thou have this man to thy wedded husband? I pronounce that they be man and wife together. Comparisons to that last great royal wedding 30 years ago were inevitable. But if Diana struggled under the spotlight, Kate seemed to love the attention of the adoring crowds. Diana said when she married Prince Charles, it was like a lamb to the slaughter. You know, she was there, she was being cast into the lion's den of the royal family. But you just didn't get that feeling today. was just the consummate princess. She is going to be the people's princess. There's without question. We have a new one on the block and she is it. She's not born into this, but I'll tell you what, she's doing a pretty good job. I've got to tell you, there's one thing you'd say, say about Kate Middleton today. Absolute class act. She's a Even a cynical paparazzi and died in the wool Aussie Republican couldn't help but be charmed. What are you doing here? You've got the full Union Jack going. Where's the Southern Cross? Uh, no, the star's here. <laughs> <laughs> Darren Lyons wasn't the only born-again monarchist. A million people had gathered outside Buckingham Palace to catch a glimpse of the happy couple. So what do we think of this day? It's beautiful. Loving it. Absolutely beautiful. Did you get a wave in? Did you get to say oh, hello yeah. to Catherine? Oh, yeah. I broke my flag waving so much. You did it that strongly. <laughs> Actually, we were saying she reminded us of our Princess Mary a little bit. There are some similarities, yes, aren't there? Yeah. How's the day been? Oh, it's been amazing. We, we camped out last night. So it's been dedicated. A, it's been a long night. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but it's been good fun. We had a good spot on the front. And after the ceremony, there was one thing the whole crowd wanted. This is the moment we've all been waiting for, the kiss on the balcony. But when it came, it was too brief and too safe. The romantic crowd wanted a replay, and they got one. The flyover, the kiss, they've sealed the deal. And so begins the next chapter of the fairy tale as Princess Catherine shoulders the burden of being the monarchy's newest media star. Oh, that's sensational. God, he looks nervous. Doesn't William look so nervous in these pictures? And Kate just looks like absolute drop-dead amazing. I mean, it's only been a few days and already her image is photographic gold. Well done, buddy, that's a beautiful shot. That, that that's one. magazine, page one, good night. From London, 
to the smallest counties, they celebrate. Nowhere more so than at Kate's local pub in Buckleberry. Cheers, everyone, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Hey. I was in the front row. Still in his morning suit, John Haley returned a conquering hero. Yeah, I Hiya. saw you in the queue. After sitting front row at the wedding. When Kate and her dad come down, Kate looked at me and smiled, and that was just, it just sent tingles down my body. It was just, just fabulous. It was just something else. After the pomp and ceremony were done, came a moment of fun from the royal newlyweds. A getaway in a classic convertible with an L-plate, perhaps a nod to the uncharted road ahead. But it's business time now for Catherine. She now has to work for the firm. Yep, that's her job. That's her day job and her night job, absolutely. And then it's going to be 600 mind-blowingly, balls-achingly boring events a year for her. You wouldn't wish it on your daughter. Could you do it? No way! <laughs> no way! I couldn't do one. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Dimity Clancy. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our extra minute segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on ninenow.com.au and the Nine Now app.